for the Cowboys you lost yesterday, huh? I mean, I, yeah. I have to admit, as I sit here and you ask that question, I mean, I just don't know who to come up with. Could it be Dak Prescott? I mean, yeah. I mean, could it be Michael Gallup with the offensive pass and fish? Yeah, yeah. Could it be Amari Cooper, who, uh, you know, I thought had a good game, but in the same breath could have made his presence a bit more fun? Sure. Could it have been Kellen Moore, the offensive coordinator that returned from last year when he shouldn't have returned because Mike McCarthy should have started a new? Um, yeah. Could it be Mike McCarthy? himself with this relatively conservative pedestrian performance? I mean, yeah. Could it be Jerry Jones who put all of the pieces together? All right. I, I mean, yeah. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. There's a whole bunch of names I could come up with that I could point to as a figure of blame. But you know who I want to blame most? The Cowboy fans across the nation. Just because I can't. <laughs> Them nauseating, disgusting people, the worst fan base in the history of this great nation of ours, who continuously bloviate about how their team is going to win the Super Bowl, placing unfair and unwarranted expectations on those small shoulders of them. That might be a reason, too. So the answer is, I don't know. How about all of them? How about all of them? Well, I thought you were going to go with that black cat running around that franchise. The answer is the Rams' defense. I forgot, man. Next. My bad. Him, too. The <laughs> cat, too. Right. Uh, Rams' defense, Molly. That's it. That's all I have to say. If you want to play, play yeah. you know, give the Rams credit. They won Jaylen the game. Jalen Ramsey? Yeah. They, right. I mean, Dan Orlovsky Simple. drew oh. up. Dan, check out Dan Orlovsky's Twitter. He drew, he pointed, he broke down some defensive plays where the Rams' communication, like better defense, beat not as good offense at times in this game, and that was the difference. All right. I'm going to keep going, guys, because there's a couple other things I want to touch on here. Let's start with uh, Brady, his season not starting out as we expected. Well, maybe as Max expected, it did start out. Um, Father Time, is it getting him? His first multi-interception game and an opener since 2003. Max, what do you think? I mean, it's a new offense here. This Brady loss, is it a big deal or no big deal? Of course it's a big deal. I mean, like, look, Father Time has been working the body now for a couple of years on Brady. The reason he looks so tired at this point is because he's been taking a beating to the body by Father Time. Then you bring the attack upstairs, as Stephen A. knows, being a great boxing fan. Uh, that's what happens. Father Time is undefeated. I've been trying to tell you. Brady's last great version of himself was the Super Bowl loss, in fact, to the Eagles, where they didn't punt. And he threw a billion yards, 500 yards in a Super Bowl. Amazing. But since then, he was a game manager. Nothing wrong with that. It's just not the greatest player of all time. Um, game manager behind a defense in a running game. Won the lowest scoring Super Bowl in the highest scoring era of all time. And then last year, couldn't get it done when they needed it the most against Miami. Last game of the season. Uh, and, they, and they didn't get the bye. And then they lose to Tennessee. You know? Uh, so, so, like, can Brady make the plays to win the game? It, uh, uh, even on a loaded team, eventually they're going to win some games this year. But Stephen A., Right now, with all the weapons in the world and all the hoopla and all the expectations, he's a game manager learning a new system, and I don't think there's going to be enough time in his career or in this season for him to get where he wants to go. He's old. He's 43. The answer to the question is going to be no big deal at all. You were going up against a superior team. They were accustomed to playing together. The only new addition was really Emmanuel Sanders. Everybody else has been there from Taysom Hill to Alvin Kamara to Michael Thomas. They've all been there. Sean, Sean, you know, uh, Sean Payton still calling plays. Uh, he still has Drew Brees as his quarterback. You know, you might have added Janoris Jenkins and Malcolm Jenkins to the defense, but in the end, what it comes down to is that you're relatively the same but a slight upgrade on the defensive side of the ball and so we all knew coming into this game particularly with Tom Brady being new to the team them having a new quarterback that they were going to be at a disadvantage and that's what ultimately reared its head uh, when all was said and done it's no big deal because the Bucks ain't going to be going against the teams, the quality of the New Orleans Saints every single weekend I think they will be better their competition will be worse and they will be fine by the way I got to say about Bruce Arians I think it's the right decision to make, holding everyone accountable. 
he's not going to take care of Brady. He knows, of course, he wants Brady to succeed, but he needs his team to play. And if you ask him who's the who the interceptions are on, he's going to tell the truth. Both of them on Tom Brady. Bad decision making. I'm just well, telling everyone right now. Brady's the goat. I get it. The question as to whether it's Brady or Belichick, we're getting some answers right now. Early on, mm -hmm. very early on, it's Belichick one, Brady none. I am not. I, I want to say this real quickly about Bruce Arians. I'm not questioning his football knowledge. I'm certainly not questioning whether or not he's deserving of being a head coach in the National Football League. I know that he took the Arizona Cardinals to an NFC championship game. I know what job he did when Pagano got ill with cancer and, and he took over the Indianapolis Colts before the Arizona job. Bruce Arians is to be respected. Plus, he was an offensive coordinator in Pittsburgh. He is to be respected. However, over the last three years, he's coached 7-8-1, 8-8, 7-9. Can we stop acting like this dude is that. just a slight tad bit under Bill Belichick? I'm sorry. You got to produce, too. It could be him to some degree. It ain't just the players in their turnovers. Maybe you're asking a quarterback to do things you shouldn't be asking them to do. How about that? Brady, Brady left the cupboard bare for Belichick, sent Garoppolo away, went an end around him to the owner, got Garoppolo sent out of town, no backup quarterback. Half the defense isn't playing this year mm -hmm. because of various things, including opting out of the season, and the Bucks have an embarrassment of riches. I'm not trying to hear All excuses. Right. Belichick one, Enough Brady zero Brady. so far. It's very early. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.